Hi friends, my name is Kalpesh and welcome to my official YouTube channel Automotive Crux. In this video, I am going to explain you how force generation occurs in the vehicle tire. Vehicle's tire provides the direction stability while moving with the vehicles and it also provides uh, safety and comfort, ultimately we can say ride quality and that's why we need to understand the mechanism by which the forces are generated and act acted on the tire. Let's discuss about the mechanism by which force is generated in tires. Forces generated in the vehicle's tire, they are not acting at a single point. So forces on tire are the resultant from normal and the shear stress generated at the contact patch of the tire because the contact patch it is only the portion of the tire that remains in the contact with the road surface and uh, due to the friction generated at contact patch or in between the contact patch and the road surface multiple forces are generated and acti acting in a different manner at the contact patch that we need to study. The pressure distribution under a tire is not uniform but it will vary in the x and y direction. Tire axis system I have already explained in my previous video. The link for the same has been provided into the description. So if you haven't visited yet, I am requesting to visit once and understand the tire axis system because it will be helpful in this video too. So as I said, the pressure distribution under the tire is not uniform and it will vary in the x and the y direction x here x direction x axis you can consider the longitudinal axis and y we can consider the lateral axis so uh, in the stationary in the stationary condition we can say the force distribution and the pressure distribution you can observe in this figure here the vertical axis it indicates the pressure and the horizontal axis it indicates the distance or the contact patch. So here, here you can observe the pressure distribution occurs in the whole contact patch and as I said it is not uniform it is not uniform. So this is about the stationary you can observe that uh, at outer points we have a less pressure generated and at uh, somewhat at middle level we are getting the highest pressure level uh, faced by the contact patch right in rolling condition when vehicle is when vehicles start to uh, start moving in rolling condition it is generally not a symmetrical about the y axis but it tends to higher in the forward region of the contact patch in stationary you can observe that yeah it will be little bit symmetric on symmetric about the uh, y-axis but in, in this case it is not symmetric in rolling condition you can observe uh, this indicates the pressure distribution diagram at the contact patch at rear side the pressure it will be quite low and as we are approaching towards the front direction it will be higher so again when rolling is when rolling it is generally the pressure distribution is not symmetrical about the y-axis but it tends to higher in the forward region of the contact patch this is the forward region if we can consider due to this the pressure distribution will be higher in the forward region of the contact patch you can consider the centroid of this portion the centroid of this uh, phenomena it will not lie on the uh, axis of rotation so we can consider it will be the center will lie over here and due to this offset generated between the axis of rotation and the axis of center the moment generated due to the forces it will not be zero and it will create a rolling resistance it will create a rolling resistance simply if the center it will lie on the lateral axis then the rolling resistance will be zero due to the viscoelastic uh, property of the rubber in this figure you can understand this this is the uh, 
rubber material it is a contact patch of the tire which remains in the contact with the road and uh, this is the surface road surface and this dark portion you can consider the aggregates of the uh, road material okay you can consider the minders you can consider the concrete all things okay. as i said because of the tires viscoelasticity the deformation in the leading portion of the contact patch causes the vertical pressure to be shifted forward and as i said due to this condition the center it slightly moves uh, it will not lie on the axis of spin and due to this phenomena the rolling resistance is produced while considering the rolling moment of the vehicle both tractive and the lateral forces are produced by the shear mechanism focus on this mechanism okay. while rolling due to the uh, lateral forces which are acting on the tread pattern of the uh, tire the shear mechanism it produces the lateral force and the tractive force basically uh, the whole mechanism it is divided into two phenomena one we are calling it the hysteresis and the second we are calling it the adhesion adhesion due to these two types of mechanism whole uh, forces are generated and being considered for the analysis of the tire so let's see the step by step first we will uh, discuss about the adhesion adhesion we can understand as it is the attraction being generated in between the molecules of two different matters so the surface adhesion arises from the intermolecular bonds between the rubber and the aggregate in the road surface. Here are two different matters that we need to consider that they are rubber and the aggregates in the road surface. Now it is the intermolecular attraction. So during the rolling when the rubber material is, is trying to be separate from the aggregates of the road surface it will face some resistance so the adhesion component is large when the surface is dry and is reduced when the road surface is contaminated with the water as one th thin layer is being generated by the water it will reduce the attraction between the rubber material and the aggregates and that's that's why when uh, road surface it is contaminated with the water this adhesion surface adhesion forces it will be reduced so we can say loss of friction on a wet road of course it is undesirable that we are losing a friction in between the road and the uh, tire it is the loss of grip we can consider the second important mechanism that we need to understand by considering the uh, forces acting on the vehicle style that is hysteresis now this hysteresis that means you can consider uh, some kind of a lag in the properties of the vehicle with respect to time so in our case in case of a vehicle style it indicates the energy loss in the rubber when it deforms when rubber deforms it consumes some energy so uh, it indicates the energy loss so hysteresis function is not so affected by the water on the road surface as compared to the adhesion forces as we have seen in the previous slide the adhesion start decreasing as the water layer presence on the road here hysteresis it will not be affected by uh, water on the road surface and the better wet traction is achieved with tires that have high hysteresis rubber in the tread so the rubber utilized to manufacture the tire if it has a high hysteresis quality then we are able to get the better wet traction so it will be beneficial uh, in case of wet tires now all in all we can conclude with this point both adhesion and hysteresis friction depend on some small amount of sleep occurring at the uh, 
टायर रोड इंटरफेस टायर रोड इंटरफेस थैंक यू थैंक यू गाइस थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग माय वीडियो विद अटेंशन इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल डोंट मिस टू क्लिक द बेल बटन सो यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन एंड यू विल नॉट मिस एनी वीडियो दैट आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड एंड इफ यू लाइक इट please i'm requesting to give a like and share with your friends thank you thank you so much